Hello everyone and welcome to part 13 of my Utah Jazz My GM on the Xbox One here on Cly92 TV. The Jazz are in the playoffs. If you saw the last episode of this series, we beat the best team in the entire NBA, the Oklahoma City Thunder. We did not only beat them, we beat them in just four games. So that was an insane episode. If you guys haven't seen that, you should go check out that video. Now in this episode, we are facing the number five seeded Golden State Warriors. That is not an easy task. You can see that we won game one, we lost game two, but we won game three. For those of you that don't really follow this series, I only allow myself to play two games in every single matchup in the playoffs, so I normally like to play the elimination games. So going into game five, it's a 2-2 series and we lose game 5. We are down 3-2 against the Warriors and our chances of making it to the Western Conference Finals rely on this game. Everything that we've worked for up until this point depends upon just this one game. And as we head into the gameplay of this video, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about some news going on on my channel. Those of you that have been fans of my channel for a while know that I like to post the most videos during the summer. That's when I put the most videos videos up on my channel, but this summer I've been extremely busy, I haven't been able to produce as much as I would have liked to, and now there is only 2-3 to three weeks left in the summer, and once summer ends, Madden 16 comes out and I'm going into my Madden 16 series. So this is part 13 of my Jazz My GM. Last year I made 25 videos in NBA 2K14, and unfortunately it looks like I'm not going to be able to make the same amount of videos in NBA 2K15. So the question is, when should I stop this series? The chances of me finishing this playoff series, Season 3 and Season 3's playoff series are pretty slim. That's just a lot of videos to make in a short amount of time. Madden 16 comes out in just two weeks. So my plan for this series is to finish out Season 2, and if we get eliminated or if we win the championship, I'm going to do a Where Are They Now video, where I'm going to simulate all of Season 3, Season 4, and Season 5. That way you can see if we would be able to win a championship with this team. I'm really sorry for those of you that really like this series because it may end shorter than I would have liked it to, but on the bright side, this series could have a maximum of 6 episodes, assuming that we win this game against the Warriors, then I play 2 games in the Western Conference Finals, and 2 games in the NBA Finals. So now let's head into the gameplay of this video. We have a four point lead on the Warriors and you know the Warriors are famous for their team basketball. Team basketball and the three point shot are their main go to's. And you're going to see that throughout this video they were just deadly behind the three point line. Luckily for us the Warriors had two key injuries on their team. First they had Klay Thompson who was out for the majority of the regular season and the entire playoffs. Harrison Barnes also has some kind of foot injury but his injury Injury is nowhere near as severe as Klay Thompson's, but look at KJ McDaniels getting the rejection on Harrison Barnes, running down the court and getting the slam at the other end. That play basically defines this Utah Jazz team. We have a lot of really young talent. We also have a lot of fast players. We have guys like Victor Oladipo, Emmanuel Moutier, Carl Anthony Towns, KJ McDaniels, Justice Winslow, just so many young players on this team with a ton of potential. Potential. Midway through the second quarter, we have just a two-point lead. Earlier this season, I actually played up against the Golden State Warriors, and we won by like 15. We should definitely be beating this team by more than two points. So Stephen Curry has the ball. I think we have KJ McDaniels playing defense on him. He gets down low, misses the layup, and now we can run the fast break. Derek Favors passes it to KJ, and a lob to Justice Winslow. If you saw the last episode of this series, Justice Winslow, a player that rarely got any minutes in the regular season, he decided to step up in the first round of the playoffs. And you know, once you catch my eye and impress me in that game, I had to give him more playing time in in this episode. You can see Stephen Curry missed that three point shot, but we can just not get a board on the Warriors. They would make that layup. If we want to win this game, we need to work on the defensive glass. We cannot give up that many rebounds. There is Stephen Curry with a little give and go. He misses the shot. I think that's Draymond Green gets the rebound, but he misses that as well. We're running down court. Give it to Justice Winslow on the three point line, and he will knock down that shot. Just a perfect end to the second quarter. I would have 
never guessed that Justice Winslow would be playing like the way he has been playing in these playoffs. We have an 8 point lead going into the second half and just look at that field goal percentage. We're making nearly 60% of our shots and that's really good for an NBA team. Stephen Curry has 17 points. He's picking up the slack for his team considering that they don't have Klay Thompson. And Carl Anthony Towns ended the first half with 9 rebounds. He's really working it on the glass. And this is a guy that's in his first year in the NBA. Just imagine how good he'll be next year. So starting off the second half, we've extended our lead to 13 points. Harrison Barnes is going to drive in, miss that shot. But again, they're getting those rebounds and making those putbacks. I want to start off this second half with a bang. We got to give it to the sleeper, Justice Winslow. He's going to drive in on Marcus Thornton, go out to the left side, and a nice little floater right there. He extends our lead to 13. Here's LeBron with the ball. He wants to give it back to Justice Winslow, but we're going to put it in the hands of Derek Favors, getting down into the paint, missing this shot at the hoop, but he will not give up on any play. He's going to get that rebound and put it right back up. After I saw that hustle from Derek Favors, you know we have to give the ball back to him. I think he's got Draymond Green playing defense. He's going to head into the post pump fake and a beautiful up and under move, getting that finger roll at the hoop. And you know Stephen Curry wants to come back. He's shooting that three-pointer, but he's been cold this second half. We're running the fast break. Give it to Justice Winslow. He's going to run out to the left side, fading away out of bounds, and that goes in. This guy is great. I wish I discovered earlier in the regular season how great of a player he was. I would have definitely given him more playing time in the regular regular season. Up by 17 points. Let's let the rookies get some playing time. We're going to get a rookie pick and pop here with Justice Winslow and Christopoulos Przingis. And Przingis is a great shooter in this game. He knocks down that shot. We're holding on to a nice lead. Give it back to Justice Winslow. A pick and pop with Przingis. He's going to drive to the right. Cross over Harrison Barnes and dunk it at the hoop. Justice Winslow, look at this replay. He's going to drive in, completely fake out Harrison Barnes. The entire Warriors defense was on the right side of the hoop, expecting Justice Winslow to be there, but he just crossed over their whole team, ran out to the left, and got a great dunk there. He just embarrassed Harrison Barnes, and look at this next play. Marcus Thornton comes to set the pick, and he's getting mad. He's raging in the game. Look at this. He was talking to Justice Winslow. Winslow intimidated him, so he just decided to come and throw an elbow at Victor Oladipo. What is going on right here? Marcus Thornton cannot handle the pressure here in Utah. We still have a 13 point lead and now he has a full head of steam driving in, pulling up and knocking down that shot. We cannot afford to blow this lead. So we're going to give the ball to Victor Oladipo. He tries passing it to LeBron, but they get the steal with the full court press. And Andrew Bogut at the other end with that layup. As long as we keep the Warriors off the three-point line, we should be fine. Because once they catch fire from that three-point line, there is no stopping them. And look at Draymond Green getting that hook shot over two defenders. You can already tell the 2K cheese is coming. There is Stephen Curry on the three-point line. Pass it over to Marcus Thornton. He gets fouled by KJ McDaniels. He makes the shot. And look at that celebration afterwards. This is the guy that was just throwing elbows just a quarter earlier. And now he's celebrating like he's the best player on the court. I just do not like that. And there he is making a three-pointer. I don't care if we lose this game. As long as Marcus Thornton doesn't beat us, I'll be happy. Here's LeBron, a wide-open three-pointer. And he misses it. You've probably noticed in this episode that LeBron James has not been playing like himself and when LeBron was underperforming other guys had to step up like Justice Winslow and KJ McDaniels. Up by nine points we're getting the rebound here we're gonna pass it over to Emmanuel Mudiay running the fast break over to KJ. Marcus Thornton goes in the air and KJ McDaniels will knock down that mid-range jumper way to stick it right back at Marcus Thornton. So there is Harrison Barnes with the ball over in the corner to Stephen Curry and why was he left wide open? open. They narrow our lead to just seven points. Here is Marcus Thornton at the top of the key. He's going to give it to Curry who passes it to Andrew Bogut. He gets fouled by Carl Anthony Towns. It's an and one and he makes it just a five point game. Choking is not an option. We get the ball stolen away. There is Stephen Curry on the left side. He's going to drive in, shoot it, and now it's a three point game with a minute left. I cannot believe we blew our 17 
14 point lead. There is Derek Favors with the ball. It gets stolen out of his hands and LeBron barely picks it up. That was almost an easy dunk. He's going to run out to the left side and knock down that mid range jumper. That was a crazy play. So we have a five point lead. A score here could secure us the win, but he gets the ball stolen from him. Harrison Barnes is going to run down court, get fouled, and luckily that shot did not go in. So if Harrison Barnes makes both of these free throws, we'll get the ball, and if we do not score, then the Warriors will have a chance to tie the game. So here is the first free throw, and he misses the shot. That will basically secure us this win. Here is the second free throw. That will go in, but it's still a two-possession game. We're going to run down the clock with LeBron at the top of the key. We're calling for an isolation play. He'll run out to the right side, cross over to the left, get down low, and an and one on Draymond Green. That is exactly what we needed from LeBron. He didn't play well in the first three quarters of this game, but in the last two minutes when it really matters, LeBron will always step up. We're going to walk out of Utah with a seven-point win on the Golden State Warriors. That game was a little bit closer than I would have liked it to be. Now we need to go to Golden State where we need to beat the Warriors again to move on to the Western Conference Finals. Here are your final game stats. Justice Winslow led the way with 26 points. Looking at the playoff bracket, the winner of this game will play the Portland Trailblazers. Anyways, I hope you guys had a fun time watching this video. Be sure to have a great day. God bless you guys.